السلام علیکم ونس اگین ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ایجوکیشن ٹوڈے وی ول لرن ہاؤ ٹو میک اے سرکٹ آن دا پی ایس پائس اٹ از بیسنگ ایپ ٹو گیٹ سیمولیشن سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹرائی دس سرکٹ اوکے دس ون اینڈ وی گو فائنڈ تھیم ان نارٹن ایکولینٹ تو I am using PSPICE or CUT We will type CS CIS CAPTURE This is opening and let the file New project You can name it any Desired one I will say Help one Okay Create a blank project Okay and go to place option and place part okay first we have to uh, see which parts we have needed two resistors one capacitor and one inductor and a one a voltage controlled current source okay so i'm gonna take this place part okay you should know that we have uh, here which uh, libraries analog analog p design catchy just tells you which thing you have used in your design and source and special if you have none of these libraries uh, represented here you can take it uh, add from add libra library option okay so i'm gonna put two resistors here one here and one here uh, we will make it you can zoom it by clicking here so that's the reasonable view okay good so here's 8 ohm and j4 i will let you know what is this so this is 8 ohm and we have another resistor of 4 ohm you can edit this by just clicking it on okay you can rotate it and place it here just see the circuit how to make it now you should have capacitor one capacitor and one inductor C represents capacitor uh, okay you can rotate it to have it in desired view and then place again part L is the symbol for inductor okay you can use it here and then you can place another part uh, what I told to you the voltage control current source that is i think g okay place it here so you have the desired components for your circuit place it on a some normal view so that you can make your circuit I will let you know how to select the values of capacitor and that other things okay place wire now uh, if I see there is a current source also and then there is capacitor and resistor so I will have definitely some gap between the upper resistor and this capacitor to place my current source. What is this current source? This is a part IAC. You can select it. Okay. Place it here and just rotate it by right clicking. You get, get the options and rotate it. Okay. 
again rotate it so that you have plus sign on the right side now you can place wire okay one more thing what is what will be the direction you need to have for this uh, my current is going upward uh, from the voltage controlled current source and its direction is upward and it's one wire is connected to the upper node and second to the lower node and lower node is a reference node so i will again rotate it so that my current direction this direction should be in upward so I click and rotate again rotate now it is in desired view ok now again place fire place fire move one point more and just got it there and then again to this now connect these two things and now connect this source Now I will put the values. I have one resistor of 4 ohm, 8 ohm, and basically this is the impedance of inductor and this is the impedance of capacitor. And formulas for impedance of inductor, let's suppose we have, have a, for impedance of inductor we have J omega L and omega L is equal to 2 pi F. Let's suppose I have the value. I selected the value for omega is equal to 1 so j omega l is equal to 4j and omega is 1 so it is j l is equal to 4j so j is cancelled on both sides and I have l is equal to 4 ok 4 Henry so what is the what will be the value of the capacitor Again, in the same sense, for the impedance of capacitor, there is a formula of 1 over j omega c. When j will move upward, it will be minus j. So, minus 2j is equal to minus uh, j over omega c and omega is equal to 1. So, you can have a uh, value of c is equal to 1 over 2 that is 0 0.5. So this is 0 0.5 and you have again so this is uh, what will be the dependent source value is 0 0.2 that is given to you in your circuit and this is 5 at an angle of 0 I will let you know how to write it uh, it is AC so you have to select one 5 ampere AC current and double click on the source and set the AC phase zero. Okay. Now you have this circuit, and what you want to do, you want to first. I'm going to find the I Norton. So this is plus minus V naught, and let me connect this these wires here. So place wire and minus should be this is 0 0.2 v naught so v naught negative terminal is here and v naught positive terminal is some like here okay now i will extend two wires from here from one from this node and uh, 
again wire from this node and how we get i naught n by short circuiting this side when i will short circuit this i can have uh, the some like the the tool or gadget in between these wires to have the value of that i i will remove the extra part of wire and so you can have in this special i print in special library i print i am selecting this i print and okay and now again place wires okay now you will double click on this i print and select ac and type yes then in magnitude option type yes and then in phase option type yes okay now you have set this set this set this and it is should be gain of 0.2 here gain is 1 uh, i will set it as 0.2 that is this value and now i think you got the circuit to find your i naught so what we will do to find i naught uh, i will now ps pass new simulation profile as you set the name you can set the simulation profile name i will again let it as help one and create for this type of circuit you will get a, a pop-up message file new file you set the analysis type ac and linear and your frequency i have set omega is equal to one and omega is equal to two pi f so f will be equal to one over two pi a 1 over 2 pi will be 0 0.159 your start and end frequency will remain same and total points will be only 1 so now you can just run this simulation by clicking on this button play button and you will see that are you having some error yes of course you are having so that is i have not placed the ground yet so i will place the ground with the zero source okay and this is so there this is i have made the sec i will again ps spice added the simulation profile and okay and i will again run this circuit now i will see that i am having again any no now the surface is clear so that means there is no error let's check that our results are fine or not so i will go to ps spice and view output profile file and scroll down and we will go to the only what we desired in this uh, output profile is AC analysis so I have find out that uh, 1.645 and minus 9.9 .9, uh, so this is at 10 risk power 1 this E is representing the 10 risk is power 1 and uh, this is minus uh, 99.4 and this is 1.645 I am having the value of I Norton and let me check that Uh, that have I used the correct value of I Norton or not I am hopeful that it will be the correct one so let me check just wait a minute Oh, 
one minute please yes i have got the value of i norton and this is 1.622 uh, in the theoretical results and of course this can be some error in the simulation profile and the angle is somewhere 80 point something and if i told you uh, i tell you that this is minus 99.44 and when i will plus 180 into it i will be having uh, 80.56 so how to get uh, 180 phase change in your hair in simulation profile i will let you know um, uh, in maybe i will tell you in the description of this video or uh, later on in this video because right now i am forgetting that point so that is how you will get your i norton and now by using this again using this circuit i will let you know how to find out uh, now i will not go to find out the z tan uh, i will go to find out z tan and not v tan okay so because v tan creates some problem here uh, to finding that you will just be having clear this wire select the wire and press the delete button select the wire and press the delete button now place one ampere uh, voltage one ampere current source or one uh, voltage source i am having from source vac voltage ac source okay so just again place the wire here and you should know when we are going to find the z tone and the z tab and the actual sources are removed so I'm removing these sources and these wires. So now I'm having this circuit and I have one volt uh, and by clicking I will set the AC phase zero. And again after that I need to find this current so that I can have the actual Z thermal. So again I will have the place part special and i print <clears throat> this is now i will delete this wire and connect this by i print so place wire from here to this and this to here okay again select the i print by double clicking on it and type yes and the magnitude yes and then the phase yes okay now you have got this i'm gonna Again, PS Spice, add your simulation profile. Okay, and run the simulation. I have no error here. And then PS Spice, add it. Uh, PS Spice, view output file. I just need what? I need the value of that I, what I have placed, I print there to find the value of current flowing in that wire. So this is my. So you know that Z is equal to V over I. I have one at an angle of zero. You know how to use your calculator in the complex mode. Go to mod and press two complex settings and then um, write in the deviant mode one shift and the third button below the shift and press zero want at an angle of zero and then 
uh, you have this value minus uh, sorry 2.236 at the angle uh, 10 raised to the minus 1 so it is 0 0.0236 at an angle of so this is the angle minus 172 move so this is this will be minus 172 because 10 raised to power 2 minus 172.3 so you can have uh, this value in ij form by simply press, pressing is equal to uh, but if you want to have it in again in the form of uh, at an, uh, magnitude at an angle so you can press uh, shift 2 and then 3 option on your calculator uh, uh, scientific calculator and press the equal to button and you are getting 42.37 uh, at an angle of 172.3 something and this is basically your z thevenin and by the help of this z thevenin and i norton uh, you can find out your uh, you can find out your v thevenin so i uh, i know i have to i have to tell you about uh, how to have change of that 180 i will let you know about this in the description Thank you for watching. Show your love by subscribing my channel and sharing it with other people. Well, thank you for your support and love. And your love and support keeps me motivating to make more videos to help you guys in the future. Inshallah. Allah Hafiz.